Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with another beer, another Muckraker beer. <clears throat> this is Find My Direction Magnetically. It doesn't have the alcohol percentage on here, but also I have it pulled up on my laptop because I wanted the description. Um, excuse me. It is 7% alcohol by volume. This past spring, we brewed a farmhouse ale with a late addition of hand-picked honeysuckle flowers to the boil. It fermented in stainless with a wild yeast strain from New York State before re-fermentation on a blend of hand-crushed yellow peaches and nectarines from Cumberland County. We finished it with a bit of vanilla and keg conditioned it with raw cane sugar. So, full transparency, I have had this beer. When Katie and I went to Muckraker on Sunday, we both got this beer because it has honeysuckle in it. And as you know from some of our, <clears throat> from our videos, Jesus Christ. Should not be this dirty, bro. Get them fucking bubbles out of here. I swear it's clean. Um, so we have had this beer because This beer was one we specifically wanted to try because if you watched our cordial video, we made some honeysuckle and wild rose or honeysuckle, honeysuckle, and I think, I think the other ones were, I think we made honeysuckle and then a honeysuckle and wild rose cordials. And so we wanted to try a beer with honeysuckle because you don't see that very often. So, so yeah, not much of a head white if there was one, but yeah, it's got this like light. It kind of reminds me of like some sort of like pear juice kind of, but not, but like clear pear, pear juice is pear juice clear. I don't know, whatever. It's kind of giving me pear slash like peach, like light peach vibes. Um, so yeah, so we got this crawler. It says drink within three days. It's been four days. So let's see what it smells like. Definitely has this like funkiness to it. This, and this is, um, so I believe when we were there, he had the, the tap list from least tart to most tart. And I think this was like second or third on the list. The list that I'm looking at, it's the first one below the smoothie. So <clears throat> on the tap list now, so, so it, sh it was probably the second one on the tap list when we were there because the blueberry or the peach blueberry cobbler or the blueberry peach cobbler whatever it was called um was the first one and yeah it looks awesome and uh yeah oh i already did that sorry i was talking about that funkiness because what it's honeysuckle peaches and nectarines and vanilla and raw cane sugar. It's super cool. And I know Katie and I talked about this at the brewery and I know my mind is all over the place right now. It's not all over the place. It's just nowhere because I'm fucking sick and just tired and whatever, but the show must go on. Right. Am I right? Um, but you actually get the honeysuckle in this. And 
And I don't know, because there is like this sweetness and it says it's keg conditioned with raw cane sugar. And I don't know how that translates to the beer. But there is like the sweetness in it. Uh, but the honeysuckle is very subtle. But it smells sweet. There's a little bit, there's a touch of, what is it? Peaches and nectarines. And I am sorry. Like I said, I am not doing well. Not doing well. Uh, there is a very slight peach slash nectarine fruitiness in there. Comes off a little bit. It comes off less juicy and more like skin. Like skin stuff and maybe a little bit of vanilla usually usually when tom puts vanilla in a beer it's it usually not for not for everyone but for me it usually fucking punches me in the face but see what it tastes like just or i should say let's revisit it Tart. Definitely comes across more nectarine than peach. Yeah. The nectarine is way more like fleshy nectarine and I think the peach is coming off a little more like skin. Like peach skin. This. I will say. I'm not getting the honeysuckle the way I was getting it when when we had it there, but it says drink within three days. This is day four, so my bad. It might be that, or maybe it's just my fucking being sick. Man, because the way the honeysuckle came across, I'm going to talk about what I, how it tasted on Sunday, because the way the honeysuckle came across, and I don't know, like I said, I don't know how that raw cane sugar comes across. And I should say, well, just to get it out of the way. Uh, <laughs> the there's just a touch of it all in here just a touch so anyway um the way the honeysuckle came across it reminded me reminded us of the honeysuckle cordials we did because the cordials are just water sugar and the honeysuckle flowers and it ferments on the yeast that's on the flowers and this is very maybe it's in there just a fucking tiny bit but it's coming off more like a floral thing than like because it was specifically honeysuckle that we were getting in on Sunday. But th there is like this floral kind of thing in here, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't peg it as uh, honeysuckle. But yeah. It's like, obviously I'm not saying this tastes like 
the fucking cordial that we put together in the fucking kitchen in the apartment. But it is similar to that, just way more complex, obviously, because it's it's a it's a brute thing. I just don't want. I just don't want people to be like, oh, I can do the same thing at my kitchen. Well, maybe if you homebrew, you could. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm not trying to uh, compare muckraker beers to, uh, like, to that shit. But it's like a way better honeysuckle cordial is, is basically what we were saying. Or not, not even a better cordial, but because you can make, because you're supposed to, with cordials, you make drinks with them. You're not supposed to drink them straight. Um, and uh, you're supposed to make like cocktails and whatever with them. Um, but yeah, that's whatever. But yeah. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to this, but you know, it happens or it doesn't, whatever. Um, but I lost where I was. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Still a really good beer. I love, even though I can't handle like the tart sour things as much anymore. Like I want to drink Muckraker all the time. Uh, Cause it's just good. It's just good. Um, I wish I wasn't sick for this. Uh, but you know, we can't have everything we want. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing well. Taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93 Lumber. Spelled out 93 Lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.